what we've got here today is we've got a Genie Power Board, uh, which we're going to uh, present and show you how you can incorporate that into your teaching and learning for the students. We've also got a Genie Vision Visualizer, which is a clever way of being able to present um, artifacts and uh, documents um, using a projector. And we're also going to have a look at the Genie Slate, which is a mini interactive whiteboard, uh, which allows the teacher to be portable around the classroom uh, and travel around. And finally, uh, we've also got the Genie response system, which allows the students to answer questions as they go along uh, during a test uh, so that the teacher can identify the learning from the students. Okay, so, so Ranjit, we've got the power board here and versus traditional teaching methods, what would you say the, the Genie Power Board brings to the classroom? Well, I mean, basically the Genie Power Board enables the teacher to use um, any device, whether it be a specific, I've got here a black pen, so I could be writing my lesson. And this is actually all going through via the laptop um, over there, as so I could be doing a lesson plan, or alternatively, I could actually just be using my finger, uh, if the teacher feels more comfortable, actually teaching the concepts, the various concepts to the students about whatever they're teaching. Now, clearly, using a traditional chalkboard, the problem would be that if you was then to rub this out, it creates a lot of dust, whereas here, of course, it's very easy, easy to do that. But, it, but we've got lots and lots of other features as well because we could minimize and move content on the page very easily. Yeah. So would you like to have a go? Yeah, I would. And I've noticed you've got three pens here. Do they each serve a different purpose or they yeah. just replica? No, they have different colors. So you could have the red, the black, the blue without having to choose. So it's for teachers that perhaps are not as ICT literate as others. So right. if you want to write something on there. Oh, well, I'll go with the circle for now. But wow, it's very responsive, isn't it? It is. So mm -hmm. this is just changing color. And there we go, we've got, so you've got the ability for the teacher to actually draw any shape and also write on the board and automatically that will be saved, okay? Sorry, if I, if I press that once the teacher's finished, it's a bit like a roller board, they can move this across or alternatively, if this is part of a bigger diagram, they can press the zoom and they could minimize that down. So if I, if I press that, I could make that smaller and then decide to move that over here because this may be only part of the diagram. So if I then uh, come back and press pen, maybe the second part of the diagram, whatever I happen to be doing, mm -hmm. I, could, I could do over here and it could form part of a whole presentation. Right. It's actually also going on a page as, as, as we're doing things. So if I go across and down, let's just go down. That's that one there that we've just done. And I can then go onto another new white page. So okay. that's just like having a new screen again. Right. And it really is quite simple, isn't it? Because I think all of the icons, they seem quite self-explanatory as to what their actual functions are. Exactly. And one of the nice things is, is sometimes a teacher wants to be able to record. So if I press the button there, we've got a video recorder built inside the Genie Power Board. So if I press record there, if I press the record and stop, and then I press the record and play, we can see. Gosh, that is clever. So as the teacher is actually teaching, it can be used to record the whole lesson.